Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing to do. This is unboxing number one. There is no zero. This is the last... <laughs> Actually, I do have a zero. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> is the last box opening and it is a birthday present it's my birthday present from my son and my wife we're gonna have to get this box open Uh oh, it's a box inside a box. It could be made by Dylan. Let's hope not. Well, that surprised me. I thought there'd be a picture on the box or some sort of specifications, but nothing. It's just a white box. Shall we? Let's. Oh, that's what we're seeing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay well. I'll see you on another video. No. <laughs> Only kidding. Let us see what I have here. I'm going to get all this out and just lay it on the floor. So the manual here is quite good. Lists all the parts that you should get. Obviously, I've got the silver B17G. Follow the instructions, very pictorial. All the wiring looms, what they're used for, where the center of gravity should be. So the movements. Ace of Hearts, that's one of those on the decal sheet. And here you have a decal positioning sheet. This is for Shoo Shoo Baby. Basingbourne, UK, 1945. Or the Ace of Hearts, which was Glatton, 1944-45. Oh, what's this one? This one you don't have. <laughs> Blonde Bomber. It doesn't have. The old pub. I don't have that either. Here we have One Wing. It's a very thin aileron. Motor mounts. Motor cables, good panelling detail, splat flips or split flaps, worm driven retracting undercarriage, moulded detail like superchargers, it has a 20 amp speed controller for each motor. Very big wiring loom. Lots of different dots for different coatings. Blue, red, orange, yellow ends, red ends. All need working out. I also believe it has lights on the wingtips. Yep, nice green LED there sticking out. Looks like it's got landing lights. Yeah, very nice. And very big. <laughs> wow. Port starboard wings, exactly the same as each other. 
aileron split flaps obviously one's got a red navigation light one's got a green navigation light but they both got running lights at the front oh by the way all the servos are already pre-installed and they are nine gram servos big hefty center section that actually needs gluing together big cabling loom comes through though big cabling loom and I'm quite interested to see how you wire it because obviously the fuselage sits on top of the wing all the cabling seems to be coming out the bottom of the wing but yeah wow 1.875 meter wingspan six props why do you get six props because you get a spare for each wing one wing is rotating clockwise the other wings rotating anti-clockwise that negates torque and so you've got two clockwise two anti-clockwise and you've got one spare clockwise and one spare anti-clockwise we have engine day cells if the bags are sealed i'm keeping the item in the bag and the horizontal stabilizer with elevator big elevators compared to the ailerons the elevators are massive they're quite deep and they're very long all hinged hinges are built into the foam there's no actual foam hinges whatsoever very nice i'm liking it a lot so about the light i'm dependent on the sun to provide most of the light i need for this video and it's not giving it to me is it it's just gone in Is there? It's tiny. Yeah, it's there. Goodness me! You see that? That is a tiny hatch. It's basically just the cockpit. But I'm sure it will work fine. You put your batteries into there stacked on top of each other so it only needs that little hatch and those metal plates are the side so this one might need a bit of work on it got your top turret you'll have some guns to put on that it's not painted very well actually i'll have to see if i can scrape the paint lines back a bit and you've got all your windows perspex plexiglass i suppose it's supposed to be and you come back to the tail. It's actually got a seat in there. Place here for your guns. Lots of panel lines. I'm going to have great fun putting popper dots on this. A little bit of detail or a bit of information on this uh, fuselage. The air vent at the front here actually gets covered up when you put the turret on, the chin turret. The way around this is to cut out the slit for the machine guns on the turret to allow air through, leaving some of the foam in place to support the actual machine guns. This hole for your wire feeds, the four motors, the ailerons, the flaps, the running lights, is far too small. And you have to cut an oval shape it's recommended that you cut a shape out all over here to massively open this up. It's not structural, so you can actually mark it and cut it out. And that allows far easier access into the fuselage for your wiring. And finally, just something of note, this is where your ball turret goes, but it clips in there or it's held in there with magnets or double-sided tape I don't know what but it obviously allows you to get access to your rudder and your elevator servos to make final adjustments while you're building and then you can pop the ball turret back on I will use magnets rare earth magnets if it needs them so the motors have got these circular mounts behind them which actually go into a receiver on the main engine body 
and then the nacelle just pops over the top of that and you have four of those one bag is the ball turret so that actually has a lot of machine guns which will be put around the plane then you get a goodie bag full of bits wing mounts, velcro wing screws, nuts, bolts screws metal spars, two tiny little ones XT60 collectors for the motors it's got a lot there <laughs> don't you dare lie down use <laughs> Dog wanted to get in on it. Look, there you go. Poppy! Hello. Hello, girl. You gonna go out? Come on, then, let's go out. Come on, out. Come on. Come on, let's go. There's a good girl. Wow. It's a big aircraft. It looks really cool, actually, in silver. I didn't think it would. I was actually about to buy five cans of spray paint in olive drab spray the whole thing but I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna leave it as it is but those ailerons are really thin I thought they'd be bigger I love the windows this is of course to replace my multiplex cargo that I painted up and tried to make it look like a b-17 bomber because back in the day when I got that what 15 16 years ago there was no such thing as a B-17 foam model. Yes, you could build one out of balsa wood, but I'm just not that skilled. Really looking forward to this. It'll be a tight squeeze in the car, but it will go. I will have to keep the wings separated from the fuselage. So yeah, there it is. Freaking B-17. very happy very excited to actually say this flies like a trainer we will find out together if you stick with the channel it's awesome wow <laughs> I can't wait to start putting this thing together the weather here in the UK is atrocious currently no storms no thunderstorms but the wind is blowing gales 60 65 mile an hour winds there's no way you can fly in this so no flying videos as this is the last unboxing video on the countdown from 10 to 1 there might not be that many more videos coming out from me because i've been pumping them out one a day i think to get the countdown completed putting this video up on youtube achieves that goal if you who like airsoft i've got a new pistol so keep an eye out for that unboxing Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, have a great summer, and I hope you'll all join me on another video. Cheers!